For years, astronomers have watched one of the brightest, most mysterious stars in our night sky, Betelgeuse. A red supergiant teetering on the edge of collapse. They said the end was coming. They just didn't know when. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured what no one was sure we'd ever witness, the moment Betelgeuse began to explode. A stellar death. A cosmic shockwave. And a glimpse into the raw, violent power of the universe itself. This isn't just another deep space observation. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event, the closest supernova humanity has ever recorded. And what Webb saw has changed everything. Betelgeuse, positioned in the shoulder of the Orion constellation, is no ordinary star. It's a red supergiant, over 700 times the size of our sun and around 20 times more massive. For decades, scientists have tracked its instability, swelling, dimming, erupting with surface storms larger than planets. In 2019, Betelgeuse suddenly dimmed, sparking global speculation. Was this it? Was the long-predicted supernova finally beginning? Now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope's unmatched infrared vision, the mystery is being unraveled. For the first time, we are observing the real-time collapse of a star. Massive energy discharges. Surface convection shifting violently. Magnetic fields twisting into chaos. Betelgeuse isn't just dying, it's transforming before our eyes. Webb has been watching closely for months, its instruments peeling back layers of stellar atmosphere that no previous telescope could penetrate. And now, the data is in, and it's stunning. We can see convective bubbles the size of Jupiter bursting on the star's surface. We can trace plumes of gas ejecting into space at unimaginable speeds. And hidden in the light spectrum, a shockwave surging through Betelgeuse's outer layers. For the first time in history, astronomers are observing the physics of a star tearing itself apart, not in simulation, but in real time. And it's happening just 642 light years away. Unlike supernovae in far off galaxies, Betelgeuse's explosion is happening close enough that, once it reaches full brightness, it could become visible during the day, even brighter than the full moon. But beyond the spectacle, its proximity offers an unprecedented scientific gift. A chance to study a dying star up close, in full detail. We're now able to observe the collapse of its core. The formation of elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron, the building blocks of life. And the moment a dying star releases these elements into space. What Webb has captured isn't just destruction. It's creation. The very process that forges the matter that forms planets, oceans, and people. We are witnessing the origin of life, in reverse. Betelgeuse's explosion is more than an event. It's a key, unlocking hidden processes behind galaxy formation, planetary systems, and the cosmic life cycle. With Webb's advanced instruments, we can now model the final stages of stellar evolution with unprecedented precision. For the first time, we can truly understand what happens as a star dies, and what signs to look for in others. This isn't just science. This is revelation. A moment where humanity peered into the abyss of time and saw light explode back. The explosion doesn't stop with light. It sends shockwaves across light years, disturbing the interstellar medium around it. Already, Webb has detected high-energy particles streaming outward, heating surrounding gas clouds, and distorting Betelgeuse's dust halo. And something else, a gravitational shift. Even from 642 light years away, Betelgeuse's collapse may have released gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime itself. If confirmed, it would mark the first time we've linked a visible supernova with gravitational wave data, a historic first that could rewrite what we know about how light, matter, and gravity interact in the most extreme environments. As Betelgeuse collapses, a question returns, one of the great unknowns in astrophysics. What's left behind? A neutron star? A black hole? Or something stranger? Webb's early data suggests that Betelgeuse's collapse may not be uniform. It shows signs of magnetic field disruptions, plasma voids, and potentially a lopsided fallback, where material is sucked back inward rather than flung out into space. 
Some scientists now speculate this could be evidence of a transitional object, something that exists between a neutron star and a black hole, theorized in models but never observed. If Webb has caught this in real time, it would be the first direct evidence of a new class of cosmic object, and an entirely new chapter in stellar evolution. With a supernova this close, many people are asking, are we in danger? The short answer? No. Betelgeuse is far enough away that Earth is safe from its radiation and shockwaves. But the long answer is more complex. The explosion will release bursts of gamma rays, cosmic rays, and electromagnetic radiation that will ripple across space. While they won't harm Earth, they may affect surrounding star systems, reshape dust clouds, and even alter how light from distant galaxies reaches us. Webb is now monitoring the expansion of this radiation front. Because even if Earth is safe, Betelgeuse's death may reshape our corner of the galaxy, and in doing so, change the way we observe the universe forever. Betelgeuse is massive, ancient, powerful, and now, it is dying. A reminder that even stars, the eternal beacons of our night sky, have limits. What Webb has captured isn't just the death of a star. It's a cosmic mirror. Because everything that lives, ends. But in that ending, new elements are born. New stars will rise from Betelgeuse's ashes. New planets may form in the shockwave it leaves behind. This is not destruction. It is cosmic renewal. And we were lucky enough to witness it. Among the vast data gathered by Webb, scientists have discovered something remarkable, unexpected elements in the ejected material. Not just carbon, oxygen, and iron, but rare isotopes like technetium and yttrium, elements only forged in the heart of dying stars. Why does this matter? Because by analyzing these elemental ratios, we can trace the life cycle of matter, from stellar cores, to interstellar dust, to the atoms inside our bodies. Webb isn't just recording a supernova. It's decoding the chemistry of life itself. And Betelgeuse, in its final moment, is telling a story that began before Earth even existed. Soon, Betelgeuse will vanish from the Orion constellation. In its place, an expanding cloud of glowing gas and dust, a supernova remnant. But its death is not an end. It's a gift, of knowledge, of elemental creation, and of cosmic perspective. It reminds us that our own sun will one day die. That even the most brilliant lights in the sky must fade. But from those endings, come new beginnings. Because without supernovae, there are no planets, no oceans, no life. And now, for the first time, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we are witnessing the full cycle, from fiery collapse to the birth of new cosmic building blocks. In the cold silence of deep space, 642 light years from Earth, a star has ended its life, not with a whisper, but with a brilliant final roar that traveled through the dark for centuries, until it reached us. Thanks to James Webb, we didn't just see it. We understood it. Betelgeuse did not die in vain. In its final breath, it gave us answers to questions older than humanity itself. Where do the elements come from? How do stars die? And what will happen to our own sun? In that fading red light, Webb has captured more than just a supernova. It has captured our origin story, and a glimpse of our future. So now we ask, what else is the universe ready to show us? And are we truly prepared to witness it? Let us know what you think in the comments. Was this the most important stellar event of our time? And what might be the next cosmic secret the James Webb Space Telescope reveals? Subscribe and turn on notifications, because this isn't the end. It's just the beginning of what comes after the stars.